Yo, what's up guys, Shujinki Dink here with another video to entertain or assist you in becoming the better Mortal Kombat player. And this video is all about Jade. Jade was one of the worst characters in Mortal Kombat 9. And mostly because she seemed like she was kind of made to be the anti-zoning character. So this move right here makes projectiles go through you. Unfortunately, there are a lot of projectiles in this game that aren't considered projectiles, they're actually physical attacks, like Kenshi's Spirit Charge, for example. Kenshi vs. Jade was widely considered the worst matchup in Mortal Kombat history, and was the only one that I've ever seen labeled as a 9-1. <laughs> um, <clears throat> actually, that's not true. I think Zod and Lex Luthor in the first Injustice was also labeled the same. Um, but yeah, so like, she was supposed to outzone Kenshi, but he just kind of pushed her away with a spirit charge because he didn't really care about this. Now, the advantage to this move is if you use a bar meter on it, she turns purple. Now that makes her invincible, but she also takes, um, or sorry, not invincible. Um, you can't stagger her, so if you hit her, it's just like super armor. But if you hit her, you do double damage while she's purple. It's a very short limitation. It's usually used for... Um, for like a wake up, so you can use it to wake up and then immediately attack. You can use it with um, um, to take advantage of gaps and strings. Works really well for that, or just to reverse pressure. You know, if you have Johnny Cage all up on it, you can throw this out. And... She had a couple of decent two tools. Her back two was pretty good when you used it up close. You know, so every once in a while you see someone doing this. And she got this little pokey pokey, pokey pokey panic. So she had an okay neutral game. Her projectiles were quite slow, but she could control where they go. And then the enhanced one comes back sometimes. Sometimes it just decides it's not going to come back. I still haven't really figured out why, but uh, it seems to be a thing. I wish that comboed. I think in the tournament edition that does combo. And then she had the shadow kick, the enhanced shadow kick went full screen, the enhanced shadow kick went full screen, <laughs> and then of course you could do two shadow kicks, um, by inputting it twice, and the same with the enhanced one. She didn't do a whole lot of damage, um, even though, and her execution was kind of difficult. There's just so many characters in the game that kind of does what she does easier. But all in all, she was a fun character. She was pretty honest. Didn't really have anything broken. A couple good things here and there. Like her little purple list. But yeah, that's it guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like because it really helps me out. And subscribe because we make videos every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks and all that stuff and we'll see all you guys in the next video. Accept your death.